watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. All right, it is six o'clock right now on a Thursday morning, starting off the live look outside from the National Harbor. Things are heating up across the DMV. Temperatures could hit 90 today and could be even hotter tomorrow. But thanks for starting your morning with us here on DC News Now. I'm Tanaya Wright. And I'm Corey James. Shanika is keeping on those roads. We're going to get to her in just a moment. Brittany's in for Jackie tracking that forecast. Yeah, you know, yesterday was such a beautiful day. It was warm, but today it's going to be hot. We're also going to be tracking the humid conditions. So keep that in mind when heading out right now. High pressure just off to the south. That's going to keep us quiet as we head through your morning. We do have a slight chance, though, of seeing a few pop up showers and storms as we head through your day today. Now, temperature wise, it is a warm start. We're sitting at 69 degrees right now in the nation's capital. 71 as you head over there to Lexington Park holding on to the 60s as you head further off to the north and west out towards Hagerstown. So keep it here. We have a full check of that seven day coming up. Shanika, how's the roads? All right. Good morning, Brittany. We're still in northern Virginia where we have a backup. This is on 95 heading southbound Woodbridge right near Prince William Parkway. So you are seeing police activity there. Let's flip over so we can see the rest of your commute. You are seeing some red spots heading north and south in that same area. So it was something of some sort of crash there to the left. We also have this one situation. This is on Pennsylvania Avenue heading westbound. You're seeing a major congestion right near 301. There's an overturned vehicle. Thank you, Shanika. Police are searching for the driver in a deadly hit and run that happened at a shopping center in Southeast. Yeah, the victims are a husband and wife, and we've learned the man died. DC News now, Yamari to say, is live where it all happened in Yamari. What do we know? Yes, we do know a married couple was right here off of Naylor Road in Alabama Avenue, and they were hit by a car. Now, the woman, she's okay, but the husband unfortunately passed away. Police say that the, the driver responsible for this actually drove, drugged the husband's body through the parking lot, and his body was found directly behind the Safeway over here. And now, a lot of community members in this area say drivers are reckless, and they're hoping that the person responsible comes forward. Now, take a look at your screen. You're going to take a look at the car that police say is responsible for this situation. They say it's a, it's a white late model Ford Taurus, and it happened around noon yesterday. Police responded to Naylor Road in Alabama Avenue, and they say the driver of this white Ford Taurus hit the couple. Now, the woman had non-life-threatening injuries and was taken to the hospital. As for her husband, police say the driver dragged him through the Safeway parking lot and exited around the backside of the shopping center near Denver Street, and that's where police found his body. He was pronounced dead on the scene and several people who live in the area say drivers are reckless and they're and they're not support and they're not surprised something like this happened. They run you over damn waiting for the police. They gone to the person driving this car. We want you to turn yourself in or we want you to we want to talk to you. All right, you're driving a white uh, late model Ford Taurus with front end damage and damage to the windshield. We want you to come talk to us. We need to talk to you. Again, that car is a white Ford Focus. That's what they're looking for. So a white Ford car, that's what they're looking for at this moment. So just be aware of that. It does have front damage towards the front and also in the windshield. For now, reporting live in Southeast D.C., I'm Yael Marisa Say, D.C. News Now. Thank you. Tom, right now with 603, D.C. police are investigating a deadly shooting in Navy Yard. This happened early yesterday morning along K Street Southeast. Now, police say they responded to a call about gunshots in the area. When they arrived on the scene, they say they did not find any victims, but police say a victim later arrived at the hospital where they died. That victim has been identified as Michael Sebastian. As of right now, there is no word on a suspect. And in Prince George's County, Councilmember Krista... Crystal Orietta launching a new gun violence work group. The group allows people to talk to police and county leaders about crime data and solutions. They met for the first time yesterday. One person in the meeting, Juanita Agnew, believes that people with real stories can help make a difference. Her son Jay's was killed in 2022. It's not something that we can talk about from hearing of someone else's experience. We can talk about it from our own experience. We have to have logics and emotions combined to find solutions. Orietta says the group will meet throughout the year. And new details, U.S. Capitol Police say eight people are facing federal charges after attempting to protest last night's congressional baseball game. Footage from Climate Defiance, an organization pushing for stronger climate policies, shows protesters jumping on the field from the stands. 
Police are then seen rushing in to stop them. On X Climate, Defiance said Congress sends billions of public money to subsidize deadly fossil fuels, but the police are tackling us instead, end quote. Now, the game is an annual face-off between Republican and Democratic congressional lawmakers. It usually draws protesters calling attention to a cause. An update now to a story that we first brought you on Tuesday morning. Dramatic new video showing a Virginia State trooper hit by a driver suspected to be under the influence on 495. Take a look. Now, police say the trooper C. Aziz responded to the Beltway near Little River Turnpike after a car stopped in one of the lanes. Now, as the trooper tried to help move the car, a Jeep crashed into a tractor trailer. Now, the Jeep spun around, and after a domino like effect, the trooper's cruiser hit the car. Now, this is a photo of the cruiser that was hit. You can see it here, all smashed up. State police say the trooper did not end up with any broken bones, but still has a long road to recovery. The driver of the car was injured and arrested for driving under the influence of drugs. The Jeep's driver was also arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. And happening this Friday, Montgomery County Police are operating a sobriety checkpoint. They say it is going to focus on enforcing impaired driving laws. It all starts at 10 p.m. And according to Maryland State Police report, Senator John Fetterman was traveling at a, quote, high rate of speed before being involved in a car accident over the weekend. In the report, a witness says she saw his vehicle traveling well over the speed limit when passing her on Sunday morning. Fetterman's vehicle rear-ended another car a short time later. That report finds he was at fault for the crash. All right, well, D.C. Council members approving next year's budget with unanimous support. It now heads to Mayor Bowser's desk. The council's budget restores funding to some programs Mayor Bowser tried to cut, like early childhood education. However, Chairman Phil Mendelson amended the council's original proposal to restore measures that the mayor wanted. This includes half a million dollars towards the sports complex at RFK Stadium. And it also includes over $450 million to fully fund a new correctional facility. That involves $24 million from next year's budget and $20 million the following year. And Mayor Muriel Bowser weighing in on the new budget. She says, quote, I remain greatly concerned that taken as a whole, the council's proposed budget and fiscal policy sets up our residents and businesses for even larger cuts to services and programs or additional tax hikes next year. Local educators responding to the council's approved budget. That budget restores $70 million to the Pay Equity Fund. According to the Spaces in Action organization, the fund helps early childhood educators get health care and supplemental pay. The fund totaled $87 million last year. Leaders believe they might still need to make cuts despite the council restoring some funds. Likelihood that there'll be some cuts in different areas because there's a shortfall of $17 million. I believe that the reason why we got this 70 million instead of it still being zeroed out is because of the efforts of the families, the educators, the providers of centers and family homes who said, no, you cannot take this away. Organizers say they are planning ahead for the next budget session that is scheduled to take place in January. And a popular Georgetown bagel shop will have to wait several months to learn its fate. Local leaders spent more than 10 hours debating whether Call Your Mother Deli should stay open. Now they postpone the next meeting until September 25th. People who live near the shop complain of long lines and crowds along 35th Street and people sitting on their buildings. The shop has a special exception that allows it to operate as a corner store that sells prepared food. It could be forced to close if that's taken away. The applicant has made attempts and promised plans to address these crowds and the detrimental, detrimental impact they have. But these attempts have not and will not succeed without a fundamental shift in shop operations. It's a very bright spot, not just for the pink home, but it brings a lot of joy to the neighborhood. Well, your mother says it hired, has hired more people to help clean the trash and control the crowds. Well, two Alexandria police officers are being credited with saving a newborn baby's life on May 29th. Yeah, APD says a frantic 911 call was made after midnight about a woman who gave birth at an apartment on Executive Avenue. Police say they were told the baby was not breathing. Alexandria police say an officer did two rounds of CPR after arriving before finding a pulse. They say that's when the newborn started crying. The baby was taken to the hospital and police say both mom and baby are in good health.